The St. Lawrence is an environment that pulsates with life. Most of Quebec's population lives in its valley and is concerned about the river's integrity. With regard to the St. Lawrence as a whole, what worries me the most is always the question of pollution, of the water being contaminated by new chemical substances, such as pharmaceutical products. One of the biggest worries right now for people living in the Lake St. Pierre region is the presence of invasive wildlife and plant species. Environment Canada is conducting several research projects on the St. Lawrence. The purpose is to learn more about the environmental pressures that are affecting its ecological integrity. Our concern right now is fighting the main factors that upset the St. Lawrence's diversity. One goal is to better understand the impact of pharmaceutical substances contained in urban wastewater. Once we're able to identify and better characterize these substances, we try to assess how exposure to these pharmaceutical substances affects aquatic organisms, such as the fish and mollusks that live in the St. Lawrence. Our researchers also focus on the problem of cyanobacteria, or blue-green algae. I discovered a cyanobacterium covering the bottom of Lake St. Pierre. At the time, we were looking for other types of algae and came across this one. It marked a shift, a change that completely upsets the ecosystem. Because once they start to proliferate, cyanobacteria cannot coexist with the macrophytes that we usually find in the St. Lawrence. Aquatic plants, or macrophytes, are the basis for productivity in the St. Lawrence. It is important to understand what may affect them. The introduction of invasive exotic species also upsets the biological diversity and balance of the ecosystem. The St. Lawrence worked in a certain way for thousands of years, but the sudden arrival of a large number of different species will in some ways change the relationship between the different species. That's what our group is interested in, trying to understand and shed light on these disruptive mechanisms. The most common invasive species are the zebra mussel and the round goby. The invaders include parasites, which can affect the health of fish populations. Environment Canada's scientific activities also include the conservation of migratory bird populations and the management of protected areas. In Quebec, Environment Canada manages a network of eight national wildlife reserves, all located along the St. Lawrence, where our work includes protecting the ecological integrity of wetlands. The wetlands and shoreline habitats of the St. Lawrence are home to many bird species and supply their food. Scoters are the focus of a study we're conducting in partnership with our American neighbors. Tracking scotter migration will teach us where scotters go and how long they spend at each place, for conservation purposes. We can anticipate potential conflicts with human activity along the shoreline. We're acquiring a knowledge base since not much is known about this type of duck. The work done by our researchers and professionals allows us to learn more about the St. Lawrence so we can do a better job of protecting it.